good, girl. Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters, if God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay. Let's try and get you a train. The boat's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up. Or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can. Makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watched me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. You saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. So much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But, yeah. As far as it goes, get out. Don't look back. Make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he, Bo? There are worse. He's kind, and he's caring, and he's strong. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to laugh. He, he's a lot of things, but... There he is! Oh, it's him! Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. You came! <laughs> you came! At last, you came! Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men! <laughs> Oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Oh, sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey, cousin. No, hey. Come no, on, you run. Slow. Penelope, get back. Oh, Excuse me, Alden. Hey, you leave them alone. Get off me. You leave them alone. You leave them alone. Yeah, yeah. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. I don't want to come back here without giving you a whipping. Is that all they taught you? We should have done this last time. Get on the train, Bob. Go to your woman. 
Quite a family you got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave. So, what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah. Well, how delightful. Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, you keep your heads down. We'll deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some damn jewels. You must have all the jewels in the state. The amount of your is here. Good look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. Damn it, you did run. Remind me to rob your trains, mister.
Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That brave white treasure. I couldn't take it. No. Let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! Oh. Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until they're out. Mm -hmm. On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! Thank you for keeping the peace. Mm. How you doing there, partner? Wow, long time no see there. Now take a look, if you will. It's an old book. Careful with the pages. Good then.
I don't know what that mayor thinks he's doing. This is a logging town. That's it for now. Go. Thanks, Barney. I got places to be. Hey, friend. How you doing, friend? Hey, kitty. The thing is, you can be saved, if you want, by, uh, hmm, what, what was it again? Yeah, yes, <laughs> that's it, by saving yourself. You can be saved by saving yourself. I want to talk to you today about the great miracle of holy passion. Yes, passion. Passion is what drives us all. It is what drives me. It drives me to serve you, to bring you the great news. Hey, boy. The great news that you are saved today. If only you will follow me and do as I say, so we can spend eternity together. Hello, Hello. Hello, sir. Do you want to be saved? Uh, yes. Desperately. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> you are. That's really all there is to it. Just do more good things and less bad ones, and we can be together for all of eternity. You and me? Yes. Forever? <sighs> Great! something thank you so much bye now hey there friend how can I help you much longer.
Easy there, easy. Whoa, easy. Whoa, now, easy. Easy, it's okay. <laughs> with a bullet.
finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> hey, you want company, boys? Sure, because I want to be pissing needles tomorrow. <laughs> This is down. Go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But... I mean... Well, I... I this country... is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it is man anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness. Not just Hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight. I guess I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Oh, where you think? Down the mine. Until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work on... See, Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go... Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. This ain't good. Good evening. Hello. Hey, Mr. Dockery. Oh, your mouth's a horn. That's a gun. Why don't you shut up? Oh, oh all right. Oh. Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you, too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. go. Let him go! Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy! Let's get you out of here. But they're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama, and get out of here. Now run! I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again! You got any business at the mine? I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Arthur Londonderry. 
Fear? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead? What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And yeah, not inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Uh. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we going to say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. 
This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't right, Dutch. We're wanted men. <laughs> so why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he... he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is arriving at dawn. We'll wait it out here. Get down behind these crates so no one sees us. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir, not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! No voice!
Tristan. Come on! We gotta move! Come on! This way! Up the stairs! Stay with me, Arthur! Arthur, come on! Cornwall's men are all over the place! Follow me! And stay close! It out. Boys, lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right. Okay. Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike. You look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And, Mike, 
We need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. Hello, mister. He won't leave me alone. Like, I asked him, but he, but he won't. I, I, I'm feeling very abandoned. You know, come on, very ignored. So I, I, I asked for, for, for a message. And he gave me the whole world! But no signal I can understand. All these... All these people, and none of them quite right. That's very frustrating. The, the whole world! Wasn't that enough? No! It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough at all. <laughs> That's a problem. I'm so... I'm so greedy. I'm, I'm awful. Hi, Jack. Hi, Arthur. Hey, big man. Worried. Really worried. <sighs> Me too, Uncle. What's going to happen, you know? To everybody. <sighs> I guess... Folks is going to make a choice. Whether they live or die. And you? I don't have that choice no more. I'm just trying to help others see clearly. That's my choice. You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. A good man. It's all over. All over. It's, 
I don't want to die. Not like this, not... I don't want that. I don't... You... It's all so sad, Mr. Morgan. So very sad. I... I don't know. I don't know. Lady. All right there, Arthur. I know things seem bad. We're gonna die here. Don't give up just yet. Strauss. I don't like this place one bit. Hey, Tilly. Hi, Arthur. Mr. Pearson. Uncle. Damn mess, huh? So you're still here? Yeah, for now, yeah. Okay, Abigail. I don't like this, Arthur. How are you holding up? I'm okay. How are you? You don't look so good. Hello. Dutch went and killed Cornwall in Annisburg. This will be bad, John. Shit. Yeah. I'm worried he's coming unstuck. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Hello, Jack. Hey, Pa. Hi. Hi, Sadie. Hi. Hey, Jack. Hi. Another night in paradise. Poor Karen. How are you coping? Not very good. Evening. Hi, Mary Beth. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Yeah, I hear you. Fine, but make sure you get a good price Many for thanks, it. Mr. Morgan. Good evening. Hey. Yes. Evening, Arthur. Susan.
Hi, Pearson. Hi. You doing okay? Things are mighty on oh, Arthur. Hey, Mary Beth. Arthur? Arthur. Tomorrow's another day. Evening, Arthur. Arthur? Evening. Evening. What's wrong? What happened to loyalty, Arthur? I keep asking myself the same question. Sure, Arthur. Some uh, medicine. Medicina. Ya para qué? No puedo. Let's go, girl. Yep. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama... Mama can't leave. Won't leave. I, 
I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fella down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards, uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. Into jail, but it weren't. That's enough now, partner. Oh, no. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. <laughs> Listen to me. <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. Let's go. I'm sorry I had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now, too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay, then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying, because no good can come of that for either of us. 
And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Why help yourself? I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. And I ain't looking for that to change. Yep. Should be waiting for us just up ahead. Mama, Mama, oh, oh. Oh, oh. you silly boy, oh, Archie. What oh, we do? Get out of here. Go live someplace else. Start over. Here. Take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. Now don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. I've seen it kill too many folk. <sighs> don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and... Pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Hey there, partner. Hello. Hey, eyes ahead, friend. Good to see you again, mister. Quite the bounty you acquired, ain't it? Oh, dear. Have you come down with the flu as well, sir? Flu? No. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just been going around, that's all. Anyway, how can I help you? Howdy. Good day to you.
Shouldn't have come to Murphy. Uh, hey, hey, cut me loose. Uh, uh. I thought I'd die with these animals. You're my savior, sir. Easy. 